Hello everybody, Brad Schreffler here to talk to you today a little bit about how to use Canvas Studio to do screen recording videos. Screen record videos are going to be the most efficient way to get information out to your students, especially when we're talking about how to use various features, but just in general as well. To start, we're going to go to Studio on the left side of Canvas, and then we'll wait for that page to load. Once it's loaded up, we're going to hit Record and then Screen Capture. The first time you do it, you'll see this load screen and it will inevitably fail because it doesn't have the software installed on your computer. So we'll give it a second. Now we see this pop up because it's not installed yet and we'll go ahead and hit download. Once we hit download, it will download the installer. Once it's downloaded, we'll go ahead and click on it. And then it will quickly install the screen recording software it needs in order for it to work onto your computer. So we'll let that run. That'll bring us back to the Canvas page for Studio. Now, this page, from now on, all we gotta do is hit screen capture, and it will prompt us to make sure we wanna upload and say yes. Um, if you click always, that will help save you some time later, which I've already approved, so I won't see it here, but it would normally be up in this top section. And that will load our screen recording software. So this pull up right here, you'll see I have my screen recording software on top and then I still have access to the window below as well. I have three options for recording, screen, webcam, or both. You'll notice that if I'm on both, I see my webcam down at the bottom. If I switch it over to just the screen, then I will see just my screen and that webcam will go away. That is typically how I do my videos. I can also choose the screen size. Usually with mine, I just do full screen. But if I click on that, I can pick different sizes to where it would only pull the active window, um, which is the Chrome window in this case, or it can pull a specific size. If you want to record just a specific part of your screen, maybe you don't want the whole thing, you can use this drag and drop to record and highlight just a specific area of your screen if you wanted to do that. But most of the time, full screen works fine. That way you know you're going to see everything. You can also set up your mic and make sure that's going to the right place. And you can choose whether you want it to record the computer audio. So if you play a video or play a sound effect or something like that, will it get recorded on your session? Once you're ready to go, you hit the record button and that will go ahead and start the recording. You get a nice countdown and now it is recording. So whatever I do on my screen will make its way into the recording. You'll notice at the bottom left, it's got running time. I can edit the pages. I can do whatever I'd like, show them around Canvas. I can use a whiteboarding app to be able to demonstrate a learning activity, something I want them to know, whatever I want. And then when I'm done, once I've recorded my video, I go down to the bottom and I hit pause. If I know I'm all done, I just hit done. This will pull up the editing window, which looks a little like this. Give it a second, you'll notice it's pulling the audio down at the bottom. Here I can give it a title, I can add a description to it, and then I can hit upload. If you decide that you want to edit your video and make changes, there are tons of powerful features in the editing suite on Canvas Studio, which I'll be showing in a future video. Um, but right now, if you're done, you'll hit upload and that will add it back to your studio on Canvas so that you can add it to one of your Canvas pages or use it as a studio video quiz. That will make it nice and easy for everybody to access. I hope that was helpful for you guys and gave you guys an idea how to use Canvas Studio. As always, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, anything you want to know, you can email me. My email address, of course, is bradley.schreffler at ocps.net. And I know that you are going to do awesome things for and with your students this year.